as you can see, we added two pleat allowances which equal to three and a half inches or 8.5 centimeters. When we connected 0.13 to 0.6, our connection is too obtuse. So we will even this up so that the side seam line will be well blended or smooth. So from point number 14B, we will go down 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. We will mark this number 15. Now from point number 6, we will go out 1 and 1 fourth inches or 3 centimeters. We will mark this number 16 or we can go out one and a half inches or four centimeters. This will depend on the girth or width of the hip. Okay, using the bottom of our curve ruler on the concave side, we will connect point number 15 to point number 16 this way. Okay, now we will connect from point number 13 using the convex part or round part of our curve ruler until the line blends in to below number 16. Okay. So this will be the final side seam of the front part for a four pleated pants. Okay. Until here. Okay, so this will be the final side seam of the front part of our pants. For the one, two pleats of the left side of our front pants and three, four pleats on the right side of the front part of our pants. Don't worry about the width of this area because as you know we will be closing this or folding the pleats. So, with the fold of the pleats, this side of the side seam will be going in. 